Hello, good morning dear students. Today in this class I am going to detail the poem Dust of Snow. See children, the poet is Robert Frost. Do you know about him and his achievements? So I will tell you about him. Robert Frost was a famous American poet. He was born in San Francisco on March 26, 1874. His father belonged to New England and his mother was a Scottish emigrant from Edinburgh. The poem Dust of Snow was published in New Hampshire in 1923. This collection gave him the Pulitzer Prize. Now see the title, the heading. See the poem, Dust of a Snow. Do you know why the poet has used the word dust instead of snowflakes? Dust of a snow is only 8 lines long and seems to be the simplest of short poems. This tiny poem develops deeper walls of meaning and possibility that is positivity too. Dust of snow refers to the tiny particles of snow. The particles are so small that the poet referred to them as dust. In this poem, Robert Frost has chosen hemlock tree and crow because both represent sorrow. Crow symbolizes the sadness, death and fear whereas hemlock tree symbolizes the bad mood. The dust of snow symbolizes natural joy and energy. It also acts as a blanket. See this dust of snow which is symbolizing uh, natural joy and energy is acting as a blanket on the bad mood tree that is here hemlock tree. So he has therefore used an unconventional tree and bird in order to contrast them with joy in the form of a snow. Children, you can see the poet has focused on three things are given here. First is hemlock tree, second crow and the third is dust of, dust of snow. Okay, these three, actually first uh, this uh, hemlock tree and crow both represent sorrow. But poet has used in this poem. Now, let's see the poem. In the first stanza, the poet describes a simple, simple, natural happening. Dear children, only and only a simple, natural happening. So, let's see how that natural happening is described here. First of all, the scene is probably of winter because the snow is falling heavily and the snowflakes that is dust of snow have covered the top of the tree that is an evergreen pine called a hemlock tree and a crow has happened to perch that is sit on the branches of hemlock tree there is the speaker the man under a tree Dear children, the meaning of a hemlock tree, it is a poisonous tree with some white flowers. So, I have already said the crow and hemlock tree both are related with negativity. They represent negativity. They also represent sorrow, sadness. But still the poet has used in this poem. So, let's see why he is using this. Now, the speaker could well have been stressed out over something. Actually, that day 
has been a quite gloomy and wastage for him he was so sad he was upset he was in awful mood he was in sad mood so he has gone for a short walk to try and think things through he thought that the whole day would be a wastage for him so when he went there what happened the crow shakes off the snow from the hemlock tree and the snow falls on the poet which changes his mood see children i have already told since the crow is not associated with goodness but it is still ironic here in this poem crow is doing a good deed he is doing a good work by shaking off the snow though we know that both hemlock and crow are associated with badness they are references for negativity but still the crow had done a good work here he has shaken off the tree from which the snow flakes fell on his body thus the poet wants to clear these superstitions that crows and hemlock trees are very unlucky things for people people think that crow and hemlock trees are superstitions and the poet has cleared it in very simple way and that he has done in the second stanza let's see the second stanza dear children see in the second stanza the falling of snow flakes that is dust of the snow and the scene leave a tremendous effect on the mental state and mood of the poet so far the day has been quite gloomy and wasteage for him but this ordinary natural happening see children you must uh, listen carefully this ordinary natural happening what was the natural happening falling of snow flake falling of dust of a snow from the hemlock tree is said to be a natural happening that suddenly brings the desired change in his mood actually when he went out he was so sad he was stressed out of something he was upset he was thinking his whole day would be a wastage but a natural happening suddenly brings the desired change in his mood his day got a lot better see in the second stanza it is given has given my heart so it gladdens his heart the snow flake which fell upon his body had touched his heart had gladdened his heart now he has no regret at all as the whole of the day has not gone waste now the moments of the snowfall and their effect have brought a change in his mood and gladdened and uplifted his spirits so children what is the theme of the poem now the theme of the poem shows a great communication between nature and humans see the nature it is wintry season so it is wintry day where everything is covered with snow and the poet standing under a tree the second is nature healing and helping with negative human emotions the poet was in a negative emotion he was awfully sad he was stressed when he went out but when the snow flakes the that is dust of the snow fell on his body it was a kind of a healing power his mood healed his sad mood healed and it uplifted his spirit the third theme is 
the significance of a small natural event the importance of small natural event and that small natural event is the falling of the snowflakes the falling of the dust of a snow the simplest natural event has changed his mood so dear children this is the theme of the poem and now if we come to the message of the poem so the message given by poet through the poem dust of a snow is a positive change can take place through negativity also see dear children here through negativity also positive change can take place the poet was in awful mood he was in bad mood so there came a positivity in him his mood was changed there was a tremendous change a mental his mental state was totally changed and that too just because of negativity that is hemlock tree and crow both are references for negativity sorrow sadness so the poet's mood was changed through negativity the title see the little thing can bring big changes in, in life as it happened with the poet simple act of kindness done can inspire others with enthusiasm joy and may bring huge change in their life as it happened with the poet here the poet was also sad but his mood was changed when the snow flake fell upon his body now come to the literary devices used in this poem so first that is rhyme scheme see what is rhyme scheme children it is the pattern of rhyming lines in a stanza or throughout the poem for this first of all see the first stanza for rhyme scheme we have to see the last word of each line like in the first line crow second line me third line snow and fourth line it is tree to see the rhyming scheme we will start with a first small a then see me is me matching with crow no it's not rhyming so we will write small b then snow is rhyming with crow a tree is not rhyming with a it's rhyming with me so we will put b so the rhyming scheme is a b a b and the same two in the next stanza now number 2 alliteration so dear children do you know what is alliteration it is the use of the same letter or sound at the beginning of words that are close together for example c in the second stanza has given my heart here has h only h has and here heart you can see has and heart then second last uh, third line saved some saved and some so these are these two are examples of alliteration now third that is symbolism symbolism what is symbolism symbolism means the use of symbols to represent things and especially we use in art and literature like its poem so we have used here symbolism uh, first is in the poem that is snow snow symbolizes joy and hemlock tree symbolizes sorrow now third is metaphor you know what is metaphor the poet compares falling snow flakes from tree to dust so dear children just see here 
द फॉलोइंग ऑफ स्नो स्नो फ्लेक्स फ्रॉम द ट्री इज कंपेयर टू डस्ट द पॉच कॉल्स स्नो डस्ट ऑफ स्नो स्नो फ्लेक्स बट ही इज कंपेयरिंग टू डस्ट टू द टाइनी पार्टिकल्स सो दिस इज मेटाफर एंड लास्ट इज एसोनेंस एसोनेंस मीन इट इज द एफेक्ट क्रिएटर when two syllables in words that are close together have the same vowel but a different consonants or the same consonant but a different vowels see the example in the first line ve first line ve and again in the second stanza last line de then one more line it is given show down on so these are examples of assonance a double s o n a n c e so dear children that's the end of detailing this poem now we will discuss about textual question answers if you have understood this poem i hope the question answers will be too easy but you still see here first question what is a uh, dust of a snow that you can write it yourself dust of a snow means what it refers to the tiny particles of a snow the particles are so small that poet refer to them as dust so you do that and secondly what does the poet say he is changed his mood how has the poet's mood changed so it is so easy for you when poet went out he was in awful mood he was stressed out of because of something because of some reasons and when the snow flakes or the dust of snow fell on his body his mood was completely changed okay there was instant change a sudden change and he felt his day got a little better now question number 2 how does frost present nature in his in this poem so we have already discussed the theme of the poem that there is communication between nature and humans and how nature healing and helping with negative human emotion here the poet is in negative emotion he is in sad mood and the nature has healed it now what are the birds that are usually named in poems so what are the birds here when we read any poems especially the poets use other birds like sparrow nightingale peacock and all but the poet has used only crow why because crows are often seen as the indicators of doom and fear they are also used for negative references crows are used for negative references so here poet has especially used he wants to say that sometimes negativity also brings positive change his emotions were drastically changed into positivity because of that negativity negative references of hemlock tree and crow next question is third one again what is a hemlock tree so that you can write it poisonous tree with white flowers what's the poet write about a more beautiful tree such as maple oak or pine the poet has not used all these beautiful trees like maple tree oak or pine tree you know why actually he is depicting a very sad scene he is too is sad and he depicts the complete scene of nature into sadness so that's why he has used hemlock tree actually trees give out oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide but they also absorb all the negative energy but still poet has used this poisonous tree and not the beautiful trees to indicate only a sad thing he has given a sad thing okay now next what do the crow and hemlock tree represent your children so that you can do it both represent sorrow whereas whereas dust of snow represent joy 
and last question is question number three as the poet has shared his experience with a small natural happening of the small natural incident that happened with him so have you ever felt have you ever felt depressed have you ever been depressed or hopeless if it is so please share your experience your similar moment that changed your mood that day as the poet's mood too was changed that's all thank you children now in the next video i will be back with fire and ice bye